today's video I got a special one for you guys we're headed out to Red Lake with my grandparents and cousin we're gonna have a good group out there chasing down some Red Lake walleyes maybe some crappies if we're real lucky but catching up with you guys before we get to the lake because we're gonna meet my grandparents out there we made our way to Black Duck stopped in at Timberline outdoors grabbed a bite to eat there and just got through Kelleher went past Big Dick's bait shop if you've ever been up in this part of the state you know you know, you know what Big Dick's is and now we're on our way to Beacon Harbor so uh, that's where we always go out of they've always treated us super well and the fishing's always been great so you guys stay tuned we're gonna be up on the north side of Red Lake today should be a fun video you guys ready yep yep there he's right there <laughs> yep fun fact for you guys on the way up to Beacon Harbor if you watch the highway signs like the Ona highway sign there's two signs and one of them's on the right side of the road has a mallard duck on it and then the other one has a hen so we just passed the hen that's what we were freaking out about there <laughs> You have arrived. All right, guys, we're ready to get after it. Just paid the access fee here at Beacon Harbor Resort behind us. See you there. Just got here to Grandma's house. Grandpa's running us out. Grandma's got a supreme ice scoop. Oh, yeah. Many years to figure out what the best <laughs> this one is. The is. Second one. Oh, you wore out one already. <laughs> broke it. Uh, oh. What, do you have to hit Grandpa with it? Or? No, I don't know how you broke it. <laughs> what are you taking pictures of? I'm taking a YouTube video today. Oh. We're making memories. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get going in today's video, you know, there's going to be a lot going on, but I just want to say thank you guys for watching. To begin with, it should be fun. I'll try to give you guys some information. Uh, that might help you guys when you're ice fishing. Hopefully we can keep you guys entertained today. It's always fun getting out with the family and making some memories. As I'm sure you guys also know, that's what's great about ice fishing. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I make a lot of fishing videos. So if you guys enjoyed today's video and want to see more of it, please do those things for me. Uh, comment your favorite part of the video as well. I don't usually ask these things, but I feel like I need to start doing it just because it's kind of part of the YouTube lifestyle. So. I enjoy making these videos, uh, but I love seeing the support too, guys. So keep it up. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoy. What? Are you fishing or talking? I'm talking. Here we go. I'm going to give you guys a little tip for Red Lake. Yes, Red works really good out here. My grandpa's fished here a lot and he's caught them on silvers and all sorts of different colors, but this Northland Tackle Buckshot Coffin Spoon is so awesome. What I've used in the past is a macho minnow and that's worked really well. And one of my favorite lures to use for walleyes through the ice is a buckshot rattle spoon. You get the best of both worlds with this thing. I had to grab the quarter ounce size just to have a little bit beefier hook and a little bit bigger profile. I I'm willing to bet that this thing will take a fish today. I'm excited to get it started with this one. There we go. No, definitely. Catch him. Missed him? Does it, he's got you. There you go. Atta boy. Get your deucer for you. It's Walter, wow. I would say. Wow. It was either really not too big of a walleye, like a 15 inch or maximum, or a big perch. Oh yeah, whoa. Lower it down to him a little bit. Trying to keep him. Yes! Oh my God, that was awesome. That was so cool. I don't know what it is, but. Just take your time when it gets around the hole. You're at the hole, right? Oh, yeah. Oh. Crappies. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Get back down there. Get back down there. He's got his buddy down there. Look, he's right there. Yep. Grandpa. <laughs> Guys, this is a red light crappie. Pop it above him a little bit, kind of aggressive. And it'll fire him up. 
Here, I got one. He's chasing. Yeah, I got you. I might be able to get him. He went down. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? What the heck? You handed it over, and there's a fish on, Grandpa. <laughs> Another. <laughs> What is going on right now? This is crazy. Here he is. Alright. Thank you for the bait up. Here, you fish. I'm gonna go check with grandma. I might grab you off. Okay? Yeah, that sounds good. I just got hit again, guys. Here he comes. There we go. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. This feels like a big one. Oh my God. Oh my God. No freaking way. <laughs> that is a dinner plate. <laughs> I can't believe this. Guys, look at how he choked that red spoon. Red leg, red spoon. This is a start of a dream. I haven't caught a red light crappie, guys, in so long, so this is this is actually unbelievable to me. Guys, that is incredible. What a beautiful fish. Check that out. We got three nice crappies. Those two are 10, 10 and a half. This one's maybe a 12. My mom is going to be stoked to see this, but I got to get back down there because there's more. That is unreal. If you guys don't know anything about Red Lake, it used to have this insane time period where there were some of the biggest crappies coming out. And it was before there was a lot of regulations on limits or something because people were bringing buckets full of crappies like this out of this lake. And it kind of became where these fish were a rarity. And so catching them is like, it's like this special treat. It just like tops off an ice fishing trip and we're just getting started catching crappies on Red Lake. And you look here, we have nobody around us. It just doesn't get any better than that. Another one. A crappie? What is going on right now? This is like the most magical day ever. Grandpa ran to get the auger. He's drilling some more holes. Now that we found out that there's crappies around here, we're also trying to expand on the walleyes, try to find some more stuff. There we go. Oh. Stay pinned. <laughs> I just got bait on there and then he, he took it off and now I got another one down there I got to get down to. But what is special about this hole? I don't know, I don't but, know but it's producing. Yeah, it's good. Everything's frozen on your rod, so yeah. like I didn't even set the hook on him with straight line. I had a bunch of slack in it, so I kind of got lucky to catch that fish. But it doesn't matter, we got her. There's another one down there. I saw it before. There he is. <laughs> this is not the, you're tangled up there. Is this not the craziest day ever? A walleye now. <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> All right, get back. We gotta get back down there. <laughs> We're piling them up. Yeah, nice little run here, fish. I love it. Seeing four crappies like that. It's like got to be the, one of the coolest moments I've ever had on this lake. Well, that's the most I've ever seen in one pile. Grandpa, give me some. <laughs> Let's keep this going. Good job. See if you can. I feel like I'm having a seizure. That is nothing. Here, this is how I do it. I'll just hold the reel here and shake like this. And a lot of times, like when they're coming up, you want to raise up on them lower down and they get attracted to the movement but like those ones that were coming in low i'll raise up on them and get them flying up and then you like just hold it and watch your rod tip you can do like your little shakes but i only do those when mm. when they're getting around nice yeah one. so you watch this there he goes what the? <laughs> get back down there catching them on that red color buckshot spoon can't beat it 
You got him. You got him. <laughs> Look at that. Good job. I Take your something. slow down. Oh my gosh, mom, you got a crop in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My face went like crappy. Holy moly. I know how jacked you are right now. I love crappies. They're beautiful. I actually got one. I came over here and she just set the hook. Big high. No, not. Let it sit. Let it sit. You got him. There you go. Got one. Yep. There you go. Still on there? Giant crappie. Come on. Just Come take on. it easy. Oh, yeah, he came off. Ah! Oh my gosh. Ah! Yeah. You saw it? It filled the hole. Ah! That was a really big one. Ah! I'm sorry to say. Oh my god. We got to get that one back. That is such a bad thing. No. Yeah. It was a huge crappie. It was like a 14 and a half. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not Shut kidding. Up. I'm not kidding. <laughs> that's what happens. I hate big fish stories. You're making me want to puke. I, that's that's I what we feel as fishermen. For the rest of my life. I was so excited and now I'm going to be depressed. I'm, nothing you could do. You haven't been doing it long enough. You didn't even know, so. Now you do. Sometimes you got to learn the hard way. Sadly, you know what? I sound I'm like mother. you. I'm, I'm your mother. I want to punch you in the throat right now. <laughs> I just want to punch you right in the throat. I'm sorry. Stop talking. Yeah, <laughs> I hate it. Oh my gosh! How big is that thing? That is so beautiful! <laughs> Holy hellfire! Yeah. yeah, that's fun. That's the size. Of... Tell the viewers now, they didn't get to see how you actually caught that fish because you were in the house. And you don't catch a fish like that, honestly, almost in a lifetime. Yeah, I was just sitting there jigging it, eating my Cheez-Its. And, <laughs> and next to know Mark come in, came up to my lure, and I'm just like jiggling it. Set the hook, and then I, which I'm actually kind of lucky I caught him because as soon as I caught him when I'm fighting him. I flipped open the house. I saw my that. rod tip caught the top of the house, so that pulled my rod tip down, so I had to pull it down and actually get some slack in the line. But then got it up into the hole, and I'm like, holy mother of pearl, that thing's huge. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That's, that's a 13 a and a half, 14 inch. Oh, that's 15. That close to 15, there's two of them. And this Labasaurus right there. Man, I should call this the Crappie Chronicles video. Go get the boys out here. How'd you catch that? Nick, I had my line down here and I, I pulled one off the bottom and he went back down and then I pulled him off the bottom again and went back down and I had two lines come up, one come about halfway and the other one flew right past him and hit my lure. And this is what the end result. This is a beautiful crappie, my goodness. For Minnesota. That's Ooh, one of the one of the best crappies I've ever caught. We got a chance today of a record crappie for any of us. The way this is going. Well, my dad already broke his biggest of his life. Yeah, that was his biggest. So maybe we'll get another one for somebody. Yep. There we go. Hey, Walter came in and smoked it, guys. Let's go. Beautiful red lake walleye. That unzip. Where is it? Ah, right, girl. Come on. Our grandma's hooked up. That's a good fish. Grab her transducer, Kenzie. Yeah. What is it? Get it up. Yeah. Big crappie. Oh, awesome. Oh my you two hold those up together. Are you kidding right now? <laughs> she caught one and then I caught one. Oh, well, first. Well, thanks for keeping it short sweet. Yeah. First. We were sitting there fishing. I said, you see that? Yeah. She says, that's crappie. The first yeah. one, she goes, I got one. Yeah. And I like look back over here and there's just a big red spot. And I jerked it once. I dropped it down and boom. And I was like, ooh. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then... Was well, that I when I got one. over here yeah, and then you I caught yours? Yeah. Just when you were standing there. Yeah. And then you kind of the like, Whoop. What the heck? Hey, day. What an unbelievable day. That's for sure. Here we go. 
There we go. Little guy. Yep. Oh my god, never mind. It's a, not a walleye. <laughs> That's a giant. I think I might have just broke my personal best. I thought this was a walleye. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? That might be a 15 incher. He just came in so nonchalant and just crushed it. Look at the back on that thing, the girth. The genetics of these fish is unbelievable. Well, I can now say that uh, this coffin spoon is certified for catching giant crappies too. <laughs> Grandpa, that fish came back in over here. It's a really big mark, but it doesn't react at all. I don't know what it is. Here we go. There he is. Big head shakes. Oh. Oh, there we go. I didn't even know these were in here. What's that? Looks like a dang arapaima. I think it's a tulipy with a dirt face. Yeah, big gold eye. This thing looks crazy. It's got big scales. I've never seen something like this. I didn't even know these existed in our lakes. Grandpa said it's a gold eye. It's got teeth on its tongue. It's got teeth right here and just little tiny grabber teeth. Long, slender. It's like a massive shiner is the closest thing I can say, but like kind of looks like one of those fish you catch in Brazil or South America, like arapaima, the way it's built. Or like one of those clown knife fish. That is, that's interesting. Gold eye right there. There he goes. Swam right off. Huh. Well, caught a gold eye. Never thought I would. We're doing all sorts of crazy stuff today. It's a unicorn kind of day. Oh, oh, God. What? Bring it up. Get it. Get it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. Holy oh, crap. <laughs> what the heck? I wasn't expecting that. 32 and 5 ace. 32 and 5 ace. Grab them right under the skill. Your fingers will kind of slide right up in there. You got them? Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. Good job, Pansy. See, that is, that tops off the day right there. Oh, yeah. Beautiful northern. How'd that all go down? Well, me and Grandma, we haven't had any marked fish for like the last. 20, 30 minutes, and then I've had him stocking my hook for like, I'm pretty sure it was him stocking my hook for like the last five minutes, and then finally I jerked it up and he came and attacked. That's so <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah, beautiful. All right. <laughs> nice job, that's so awesome. What a way, what a way to like end off the day. We yeah, still got a couple minutes left, but does it get any better? All right, guys, we are wrapping up today. Had an amazing day of fishing, probably once in a lifetime. I don't think we'll ever do anything like this again on Red Lake. We broke three PBs today. I broke mine, Dad broke his on, on crappies, and then Mildred here, Kenzie, <laughs> she broke her PB for a northern with a 32 and a three, 32 and 5 ace. So it was a crazy day. Caught big fish all over the board, except for the walleyes, but that's just kind of how it works out here. Um, and couldn't have asked for a better day. It was an awesome time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I greatly appreciate you guys watching today's video and hopefully you learned something along the way as well. Um, but it was an awesome day. Had fun and can't have for anything else. So. <laughs> Grandpa got the knuckle bump. Boom. Boom.